Coco channel and to another Thoughts on Thursday. Now, this video might be a little, not controversial, but like upsetting or teasing because I am asked you guys and there were a few of you that said you wanted this video and so I'm giving it to you, but there may be some of you who might get upset because we are talking about the Tarte Tartist Graveyard Girl um, lip paints, which are out of her whole entire collection, which is just these and an eyeshadow palette, these were the hardest to get a hold of, and I don't even know if you can anymore. I know that they are <coughs> coming into the stores this month. I think that they're already in Ulta, and they may be coming to Sephora. I know they're going into Macy's, so if you can or if you wanted to get a hold of them, I will put the information down below of what where these are now. Um, I know that online, both at Tarte, or both, at Tarte, at Sephora, at Ulta, and on Macy's, they're gone, but maybe you'll have better luck in the stores. So we are doing lip swatches. We are doing wear time. Um, I'm gonna go color by color. There's only two, so it won't be that hard. Um, <laughs> so I am testing right now um, Swamp Family. That is what is on my lippers. I can't really think today. I'm like in a really strange mood because I have a ton to do. But um, this is importante. So the first color, like I said, is Swamp Family. This is what the packaging looks like. Hers obviously has her signature on it. Let me show you a hand swatch. The wands I did talk about in each lip swatch, it's like the strangest wand. It's not doe foot, it's not, it's like flat on four sides, but it's also like round, it's strange. It's a really strange wand. Um, these are very, very creamy. Uh, here is Swamp Family. It is more orange red than blue red. When I was putting it on, I was like, oh, I thought it was going to be like a blue red, you know, like true red. But it does have a little bit more orange when you're putting it on your actual lips. Like here, it looks a little bit darker. You know what I mean? Um, but it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, like I said, I am testing the wear of it right now. They do stain a little bit. Um, the red one anyways, like when I was swatching it when I very first got it, it like kind of left a little bit of something on my hand. That's why I'm taking it off automatically um, or right away automatically. Uh, next color is Texas Toast. This is the one that I was like really excited about. Originally, I wasn't even going to get Swamp Family. Um, I definitely wanted Texas Toast and it took me a little while to get used to the color on my skin, like on my face, <sighs> on the skin on um, because it does have a lot of gray in it, uh, but it's still like a really, really pretty color. I do like it a lot. It just took me a little while to get used to it. Um, and we're going to get into the lip swatches. That's where I'm going to give you like my real honest opinion. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just doing an intro right now and I did want to do hand swatches so you can see the difference of them on the hand and then of them on my lips. So I was able to get mine off of Sephora the day that they released on their website. Um, I had to get there like right at the release time, which was like 12 o'clock. These do retail for $20 each, which I mean, that kind of goes along with all the other liquid lipsticks. The Anastasia ones are $20, you know what I mean? It's like all right in that area. So um, these are... 0.2 fluid ounces, which is actually a little bit bigger than the other ones. It's just the shape of the bottle. Um, so that is all the info. If I can find them or, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to leave all the info down below. I haven't found them on any website because I did wear one in a video because I was, um, because I was testing Texas toast. I did have it in a video, I think two actually. And when I went to link it, it was nowhere to be found on the interwebs except for eBay, which Nobody wants to go and pay all that, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna get into lip swatches and then that is going to be it for this video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with swatching uh, Texas Toast. This is a lip swatch. Um, I am gonna break it up because this one goes with today's makeup, kind of, and the red one I don't think would. Um, so, let's go ahead and swatch this. I already showed you guys hand swatches, so. It has a peppermint scent. Which I may have already mentioned in the beginning. Uh, 
I <laughs> I like this color. The wand is so weird though. It's not like completely flat on any side. It's like a really weird doe foot. It's, I don't even know if you could call this doe foot. I don't think so. My lips are so uneven. See how this one's like a perfect like bow and this one's like meh, meh. as good as we're gonna get that. So one thing I wanna mention is that these take a really long time to dry down. It's like very creamy though, it's like not uncomfortable at all. It's more like a cream even though it's like supposed to be, well it says lip paint. I don't know that they're supposed to dry down all the way. But I am in love with this color. I remember the first time I wore it, I was like, I don't think I can pull this off. I really don't, but the more I wear it, I feel like it's a really, really cute color. See how uneven these guys are? <clears throat> hey, if you can't point out your own flaws, somebody else will. And I'm telling you right now that these guys are uneven. Mm. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Even though I am kind of having OCD about it, so I'm just going to leave it alone. So we're going to start a timer. <clears throat> it's 2 o'clock. I'm gonna see how many minutes it takes. So it's been about three minutes and it's still very much like a lip stick. Like you can feel it moving around. It's like still creamy. It's not drying. It's not flaky. It doesn't, it feels really nice on the lips. I'm not even gonna lie. And you guys saw from the application that it's like one, you know what I mean? Swipe. It wasn't patchy. It wasn't. It was very opaque. So I just wanted to update you on the wear of Texas Toast. I actually just had to reapply it and we are only two hours later, three hours later. Um, it did not last through me eating at all. Um, I don't know why, but I was like really under the impression that this was going to be like a liquid lipstick um, because it's called a lip paint. I mean, it's exactly like a liquid lipstick formula, but it doesn't dry down all the way so you don't get that long lasting. Like it even transferred onto my son who I kiss all the time. Um, it's, you know what I mean? Like it transferred onto his face. Um, you know what I mean? Like when I was drinking my water, it was on my straw. So <sighs> I'm not enjoying the wear of it. Um, and it didn't apply as evenly the second time. Like, I had some issues on this side of my mouth. But again, that's my fault because, not my fault, but it's because my lips are uneven. It just takes extra effort sometimes. So, that is it for Texas Toast. Coming up next will be Swamp Family. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and lip swatch the Swamp Family color, which is the red so I don't think I mentioned it in the um, Texas Toast color, but for some reason the tubes like weren't filled up all the way. It was really strange. I've never had anything like that. It's not that big of a deal, but I did want to mention it was like down to the first part and then after you start putting it in, the wand like in and out, it kind of just bunched up to the top. You know, I mention every detail. Again, this one has like a peppermint scent to it. So it is a little bit more orange on the first application. It's not um, like a blue red, you know what I mean? I feel like this is gonna definitely need two coats. And again, the applicator is like very odd. It's like flat on all sides almost. It's really weird. Let me try and fix this a little bit because you guys know, I've mentioned this before, that these bad boys are different shapes. It's actually a really pretty color though. It's not bleeding. It's not getting on my teeth. It's like a good color because it almost like matches my lips. So, unlike with Texas Toast where you could totally tell where it was wearing off, I feel like this one is going to wear off a little bit more. It's not going to be as noticeable when it wears off. It's 
what I'm trying to say. So, I'm going to go ahead and film the intro to this video and see how the wear is, if it starts, you know what I mean, catching on my teeth, if it gets anywhere, stuff like that. So, I will check in with you and let you know what the wear time is. <sighs> so... I have a zit right here. Don't pay attention to it. Um, I just got done filming my intro and my outro, and just from talking, it is transferring a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, like, not transferring, but, like, smudging, like, along here. Do you guys see how it's, like, a shadow of red underneath, like, the actual lip color? Um, I am, I was talking for about 10 minutes for an intro and an outro, um, so it's only been 10 minutes. I'm gonna see what happens and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. In two seconds for you, but for a while for me. Mm -hmm. Final check-in and now I still haven't made my bed. <laughs> um, so I have like mixed feelings about this one. The number one thing I love about it is you can drag your lip across your teeth and like minimal transfer, which is important for me because I talk a lot. <laughs> even off camera. Um, and so especially like if I'm out and about, you know what I mean? Like I like that it's not going to transfer my teeth. I'm not going to be walking around with lipstick all over my teeth. The only thing that I'm not appreciating is it is bleeding into the, uh, corners of my lips. Like if you can see that, I don't know. And it did have like a little bit of like transfer, to below my lip line, but I feel like that's easily cleaned up, you know what I mean? So, I have mixed feelings. I love it, but I wish I didn't have to clean it up. But it's better than a lot of reds that I've come across, so that is it. I like it. So I'm back. I know I said I liked it, but I don't at all. Uh, this is literally just from drinking coffee. This isn't through a straw, mind you. Not even, like, mouth on a cup. It is balling up like a liquid lipstick usually does, you know what I mean? But it doesn't have the lasting power of a liquid lipstick. It's only been on less less than an hour. I was sitting down editing another video and just sipping on my iced coffee and just from sitting there, it's like balling up and getting that really uncomfortable like feeling and look at the like wear on it. I mean, it's not as noticeable as um what's it called? Texas Toast, but it's still, you know what I mean, like, really patchy, it's still bleeding into the corner of my mouth and up above my lip line, so I need to take this off so I can put, like, my clothes away and everything, like, I'm terrified it's gonna rub off, that's another thing, is the transfer is awful, and it does stain, like I told you guys, like, you can see where I swatched it on my hand, and it's, like, on my fingers from, I don't even know what, <laughs> so... Not a fan of Swamp Family at all. Not the formula. The color is nice, but no. Not even an hour. And just drinking. Not eating. So, no go on Swamp Family in my opinion. Unless you're like a huge fan of Bunny and you're a collector, you know what I mean? And you want to have them in your collection. But for me, this isn't wearable. Like, if you can't drink even, you know what I mean? No matter where you, I go, I have like a bottle of water. Like, I'm constantly drinking something. You know what I mean? Iced coffee, water. So, it's not going to be something that I'm going to be able to wear unless it's just for filming purposes. So, that's it. That's my opinion on that. Mm-mm. So guys, that is it for this video. You saw my thoughts, you saw my opinions, you saw them swatched on my hand, on my lips. I'm so animated today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't able to get your hands on them and you're really ticked off, like, Brittany, how dare you show me these things that when I can't get them, I truly apologize. But you guys know here on the Coco channel that if I get basically one person requesting something, I'm always going to do it. I always want to give you guys what you want. And so if it made some of you upset, I really am sorry, but I did have requests for it. And so it is what it is, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any other requests for a thoughts on Thursday, if you're curious about any products, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco and you are watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, is this gonna be the whole time? That's lovely. <sighs> um, it didn't last through me eating lunch at all. Am I not focused? What's going on?
There we go. I hope it's like glassy. Like it's gonna wear off glassier. Um, like it's not gonna be as easily noticeable. Why can't I talk? Easily. No. 